everybody, DCT here. How are you doing today? I can't lie, I'm doing pretty good, I'm trying to stay out of the heat, you know. But Earl Thomas, this was, uh, he posted this on Instagram two days ago. He came out talking and said, If you don't want me, let's make a trade happen. I understand. It's a business. We know Earl Thomas wants to be a Cowboy. At the end of the Seahawks game, he ran into the Cowboys locker room and said, when Seattle kicks me to the curb, come get me. What are we waiting for, Dallas? Let's make a damn trade. All right, let's do it. All right. All right, let's see. Who's the player we could get rid of? Oh, this guy, this guy, this guy. All right, let's see here. Who's player we could get rid of? Okay, all right. Terrence Williams. Uh, and trade him for Earl as long as at the fourth round draft pick. But I do like Terrence Williams a little bit. Um, if he'd stop body catching, then he'd be a really good guy. Great player, too. He's a great guy, good player. Uh, just his hands, he's got to work on. That's about it. But I'm just going through some of these players. Um, Blake Jarwin or um, David Wells, we could trade. Um, no defensive ends. Damian Mama, Kadeem Edwards um, could possibly. Lewis Neal, possible, but we could trade someone for Earl Thomas. Doesn't have to be just draft picks. We could trade someone for him, but I think the longer we wait, the more Seattle is realizing, oh, he ain't gonna come back for us. We don't wanna give him that deal. We're gonna have to trade him. And in the draft, we offered him, I believe, this second for Earl. Nope. I like it. I'm glad uh, we got Connor Williams instead. But here's where I'm at. Offer him a pick from this year, a late round, and a player we don't need. I'm not saying we don't need Terrence Williams. But just to give you an idea, you know, I think uh, Earl, you know, he does want to play for Dallas. He wants to make a trade. He hasn't done anything for the Seahawks this offseason. His teammates said that he likes the Cowboys. So I think we have a good shot at getting him. Now, people saying, oh, we can't afford him. We got Dak Prescott. Well... Doesn't Dak Prescott love the Cowboys? Didn't he say he grew up loving the Cowboys? Doesn't... Let me, let me see if it's on his arm. Yeah. He has a, a star tattoo on his arm. Doesn't he have a couple other star tattoos? So, so he, he loves the Cowboys. He wants to play for the Cowboys. Well, Zeke... I, 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 I don't think Zeke's going to go anywhere. I, I don't. I think he has a star tattoo, too. I, I think he loves the Cowboys. And I think Dak does, too. So I think they'll both give us a hometown deal. Not a lot. Dak, well, maybe. Zeke, not as much. He ain't gonna be asking for Le'Veon Bell money, either. So, that's a bonus. We can't afford it. The cap's gonna go up another $10 million next year. We'll be all set. We can afford it. Trust me. That's how that is. we're going to be able to afford it. Earl? Well, oh, he's old. Earl is old and worn out. We don't need him. Wait. He's 29. Safeties last longer than defensive tackles, running backs. They last longer than those guys. Well, he ain't got nothing to give. A wrong fact, he gives us experience and depth. He knows how we're going to be playing because of Chris Richard, so I'm pretty confident 
it's going to be fairly easy to get him. I'll see you guys later. Peace off.